to this computer. I'm Chris Biffle with a wonderful new light. This is Whole Brain Teaching Reset number three, and we are going to show you an amazing way to produce whenever you want instant class engagement with our scoreboard. Let's just talk about what the scoreboard is, first of all. So this set of slides is available as a free download. We will post the link in the YouTube video. Here we are, reset number three. Here's the beginner scoreboard. The beginner scoreboard, you set the timer for five minutes and you play three or more times a day. Reason you set it for five minutes is so that you're sure to do it and kids will remind you. Everything else is practice in between. You're gonna pay special attention to the target behavior, which can be anything you want. Here we want kids to improve on rule one, following directions quickly. And the plus sign means we'll reward you for other things besides rule one. You're looking for improved behavior. When you see improvement, positive improvement behavior, you make a tally mark under the hawk side. You point at the class and they go, oh yeah, nice and fast. When you see negative behavior, you don't indicate the kids who are turtling. You say, some of my friends over there, notice I'm looking away, are not playing as hard as they can. You make a turtle mark and everyone goes, wham. When you see really improved behavior, then you can roll the dice and that'll give you a bonus point. More on that in a few seconds. But here's the big thing. One, reward for improved behavior, indicate the kids who are improving, penalize for negative behavior, don't point them out because you don't want to light a rascal's fuse and change this target several times a day. Nancy, quickly summarize the main points of the beginner scoreboard. There's a little more to say. Go, Nance. Oh, thank you, Coach. Okay, this is beginner scoreboard. So you're going to set your timer for five minutes. That's how long the game's going to last. Why do we do that? Because we want to make sure we're doing it. So with five minutes, it's right there and in between it's all practice. You've got a target behavior on there. You see improvement in that. You can, um, you're gonna make a note of that by going, I'm a hawk. And then they'll all go, oh yeah, as you mark that scoreboard. You see some stuff you don't like, uh, don't look over there, make it vague. We've got some people over here not using big gestures, turtle, and they go, wow. Very good. Now, look at this friends. It looks good. So if you're gonna make a physical one, which is fine, the better it looks, the more powerful it is. Video games are all about graphics. So this is a nice Google slide graphic. You can just put the word turtle on one side and hawk on the other side, but you won't get the power of strong graphics. Wilsey, talk about the importance of something you're going to use all day long, looking good. Talk about it, Wilsey. Thank you, Coach. Um, if we're going to use something in our classroom all day long, we need it to look amazing. Very good. Now, continue with the beginner scoreboard. Be sure you're rewarding for improvement. And a few times a day, when you see really good behavior, you roll the dice, a one, two, or three, gives the kids a bonus hawk point of four or five. They say, we got grit, we don't quit. And a six is a reroll. But the dice are powerful. As soon as you pick up the dice, you've got every kid's attention and you don't need to roll it just at that moment. Jack it up a little bit more. If you hold up a green marker and you're making tallies, that's just worth one point. Later in the day, if you hold up a blue marker, 
and you make tallies, that's two points. You could have green marks and blue points. And at the end of the day, when you really need energy, hold up a red marker, that's three tallies. But listen, it's still the same game. It just feels much more exciting. Blue, explain the green, blue, and red marker. And now it gets kids jacked it up. And it's just a marker. You call it a power stick. Go, Dawn. All right, thank you. I like that idea. So as you are marking points, you can switch up the color of the marker. A green marker is worth one point. After lunch, when maybe they're a little sleepy after recess, pull out the blue marker. Every time they get a point with the blue marker, it's two points. Then at that last hour of the day where energy is really low, ramp it up again by switching to a red marker, and that one's going to be worth three points. Very good. Give Dawn a 10-finger woo. Now, my friends, keep the score close. Turtles shouldn't be too far ahead. Hawks shouldn't be too far ahead. When the timer goes off after five minutes, if the Hawks are ahead, give them a win. When they get 20 wins, oh, we're going to unlock another game that we play alongside scoreboard. Oh, my friends, think of this. You say to kids, do you think you could play two video games at the same time? Oh, let's see if you can play two video games at the same time. Pam, explain how we're playing scoreboard, 20 wins. We're going to play another game at the same time as scoreboard. Ha! Ah! Talk about it, Pam. Thank you, Coach. Oh, it's so exciting. We're going to challenge them. You think we can play one, but no, we can play two games at the same time, and we can have two things going, and it's just going to be so exciting. All right. So that is the basis of the scoreboard. And once you unlock, once you get 20 wins, this is what I suggest. Change your scoreboard. Give me, oh. Divide your day into four quarters. And if the Hawks are ahead at the end of a quarter, you and the class decide what players improve the most, give them a super improver star and a dice roll. I'll say that again. Divide your day into four quarters. At the end of each quarter, see who's ahead. And half the time, the Turtles will be ahead. But if the Hawks win, Everyone decides to improve the most. That's what we're talking about. And that kid or kids get a dice roll. They get a super improver point and a bonus point they can keep or give away to improving teammate. Nancy, explain the four quarter scoreboard that we're playing alongside super improver. Go ahead. Okay, thank you, Coach. Okay, so this is really cool. You've had 20 wins on that beginner scoreboard. We're ready for the new one. And on this one, you divided it into four periods, and you're still making marks, and you're still looking for that improvement and so forth. But now you've got the dice roll going, and you've got markers. And third, at the end of that period, if there's more hawk wins and turtle wins, the class and you decide who improved, who helped that win happen, and they get to stand, get a dice roll for a chance for not just that one that they got for standing, but for a second one that they can keep or give away. Give her a 10 finger woo. But Kedra, ask me, coach, how do you play two games at once? All right, coach, thank you. I'm dying to know how do we play two games at one time? I'm going to tell you, my dear Lakidra, when you want to motivate the class as a whole, which is a lot of the day, you play scoreboard because it's one team against another. When you want to motivate individuals, which is the other part of the day, you play super improver. I'll say that again. Scoreboard motivates the teams. Super improver, which we haven't talked about in a reset, motivates individuals. And Lakidra, you know you've got to have both kinds of motivation. Explain to us briefly how desperately you need both kinds of motivation, child. Thank you, coach. So yes, we desperately need the individual motivator uh, and super improver helps with that tremendously. But 95, I think, percent of the day, we need that full class motivator and scoreboard will definitely do that for us. As uh, whatever percentage you want. 
Now, Mary Hunt. Mary Hunt, I know why you tuned in. You tuned in to find out about the instant class motivator. Mary, all you got to say is, Coach, you know me too well. Coach, you know me so well. All right, now listen. The instant class motivator, Mary, is called the ping pong. Hmm. You say class, and then you're going to ping pong them, and that's going to produce instant motivation. Tell me when you're going to ping pong them. Go ahead, Mary. So I'm going to say class, and they're going to say yes, and I'm going to ping pong them. Stop right there. Here we go. Mary. Yes. You're my whole class. Class. Yes. Too slow. Mighty wah, wah. Wah. Not fast enough. Mighty turtle point. Wah. Wah. Oh, much better. That's a hawk point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Louder. Hawk point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's the whole routine. Two negatives, two positive. The score remained the same on the scoreboard, and you're ready to roll. Mary, I'm going to explain it again. You say class, they say yes. You say too slow, turtle point, wah. Not loud enough, turtle point, wah. That's better. Hawk point, oh yeah. You could be louder than that. Hawk point, oh yeah. That's the ping pong, Mary. And it wakes them up every stinking time. Dawn, you've probably ping pong five million times in your life, but talk about the glorious power of ping ponging them. Come on, yeah. Dawn. Thanks, coach. Yeah, exactly. Every time there's a mark on the scoreboard, it invigorates them. And when you go back and forth and back and forth quickly, it gets them all right back in the game. That's exactly right. Ten figure woo. Wilsey, talk about your vast ping ponging experience and how happy you are to share it with some of your sisters. Go ahead. <clears throat> Thank you, coach. I love to ping pong on my scoreboard, um, especially because it pulls in those stragglers who maybe weren't with you before. You start ping ponging and they're like, wait, what's going on? I better see what's happening. That's it. What it does is, my friends, make my gestures. It gives you about a 10 second burst of dopamine in every kid's head. And there's some kids who'll miss the first turtle. And uh, you'll get a few more on the second turtle. But by the time you get to the third and fourth point, You've got them and you're ready to teach. Nancy, explain the power of the 10 second ping pong and we're gonna time it here in a second. Talk about it, Nance. Uh, okay, thank you, Coach. Okay, like Mary pointed out, after you say class and they say yes, you're going right into that ping pong scoreboard. You're going um, turtle, turtle, hawk, hawk. And that 10 second burst of dopamine grabs everybody back together and you're ready to, Get that lesson going. All right, here we go. Now, Nancy, don't start your timer. I'm going to say class, Nancy, you're going to say yes. Then start the timer, and I'm going to do a normal pace of ping ponging. And it might take me 15 seconds. I don't know, Nancy. It's end of the day. All right, Nancy, <laughs> let me know when you're ready, and then start as soon as I start. Go. That's a little slow. Turtle, wah. Not fast enough, turtle, wah. Much better, hawk. Come on, you can be louder, hawk. Oh yeah, time. 17. Oh my gosh, it must be the end of the day. <laughs> Aaron, talk to me about your abundant forgiveness that it took me 17 seconds to produce instant class engagement. But talk about the idea of the ping pong. Go, girl. Thank you, coach. You're still cool. Thank you. Um, the ping pong really gets them. And I sometimes I forget it. And also, if one side is going a little too far, I'll ping pong to get them back in track. Yeah. 
very, very good. All right, my friends, we invite you to share this abundantly. Nice short video. The next one will be reset number four, and we'll talk briefly about Super Improver. But before long, and reset number five, my friend, we'll show you the simplest, most powerful way to increase emotional intelligence. Sarah DeBoer from South Dakota explain how you can't wait for reset number five when we increase emotional intelligence. Talk to us, friend. Thank you, coach. I'm super excited to learn about that. It's going to be ten great. Finger you got it, 10 finger woo. All right, my friends, we'll see you down the road. Be sure to share this video and share the download. More resets coming. Bye.